So Dean defeating Gates this afternoon, where do you sort of begin to assess that one? Yeah, look, big moments in the game. They've scored against the run of play. Uh, for me, uh, shots come in too easy from the second phase. Restart, deep restart. And then, um, what do you think? The goal we should parry it around the post, really. He's obviously parried it back into the middle of the pitch. And they've managed to capitalise on it and score. And then we missed two or three unbelievable chances to equalise. Uh, Joe Kizzy's in particular, where he's at the inside of the post from three or four yards out. Um, it's just guilt there's chances. Addy had a good chance full staff as well. So the game was tight. Found ourselves 1 0 down. Second half, then um, we give away a sloppy goal. Really, I know the lads took his goal well, but we give away a sloppy goal. But we kept going, we created plenty of chances to come back into the game. Um, but all in all, look, this is, it's so difficult to come here. It's a difficult place to go. And we've been here several times. I feel like the bogey team really gets at the time. So, but full credit to them. They were on the right end of the result. Their top performance at times was really good. Yeah, like you said, for, for life spells in the game, it looked quite even. And like I said, you know, sometimes even we were on top. But then it's sort of a case of they just took their chances more than we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, listen, goals change games, a little bit more clinical, you know, we've, I've probably seen the best save I've ever seen live with their goalkeeper, he's tipped onto the crossbar from Wilco. Um, we've just missed, one, but Shelter's missed the sit oh, look, supporters thought that was in, we thought it was in, just to give us something really to have a go at in the last five or ten minutes, but we're missing too many good chances, but once we keep creating them, I know, I know we'll be fine, I'd like us to keep more clean sheets, I don't think our goalie was tested loads today, but I'd like us to keep more clean sheets. Um, so yeah, look, it just is what it is. We've just got to dust ourselves down and move on to the next game. You sort of touched on it there. Obviously, we create a lot of chances, a lot of shots that go, and for some reason, their keeper obviously was making his debut this afternoon. He just pulled off, you know, half a dozen world-class saves, and obviously that doesn't help when we're trying to get back into the game. There's some full credit to the kid. Full credit to them goals. The game's about both boxes, so you can have every phase you want and dominate and overload and penetrate. But if you don't score goals in that box, you don't keep them out of that box. You're not going to win football matches, and it's been an issue for us. I still believe that. Like, I think we should get out of here with we, a result. You know, I don't think we deserve to lose, but top of the table clashes, this is what's happening when you look there. You know, the, the one percent, the detail has to be better. Um, I know they have injuries as well, and goalkeeper missing, and the manager's missing, so they've got issues at their place, and we've, we've huge issues that are centre forward. And the centre forward area, it's, 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 uh, it's huge. For us. We're trying to get promoted with no with two centre forwards at the football club, most I think four or three, or six. So it is, a, it is an issue for us. Um, the sooner I bet we get Nicky and Brownie back, it'll be better for everybody. So but I, I think we've, we've plugged the gap not too bad. Yeah, I guess on the plus side, after the defeat on the Saturday, quick turnaround for the game on Tuesday, you know, so a chance to put things right. It won't be easy though. If you look at Gatehead, the games we've had have been mad actually, the first seven games. Gatehead, I think, come in the top seven last year. I'm sure, I'm sure they come probably fifth. We come second. Then we've got Altrincham now who come fourth. Uh, we've got Forest Green to come down, we've got South End, if they hadn't got the points to look, she would have been in the playoffs, I think they come eight. So the games haven't been easy. This division is just relentless, you can't just roll up and think you're going to win every game of football or this, in this division. It's just relentless, it doesn't stop and we've got to be at it, our players have got to be at it. And we've got to be at it every game, yourself, everybody, every game, every, every little 1% we're in the game matters. Um, so look, you know, I think something that does have to change, and I'm going to write to the National League about with the Mark Wives and that, the five subs is ruining the game. It's ridiculous. You know, it's just absolutely ruining the game. Um, no problem having five subs, but it should be like the AFL. I don't know why we're following. I really don't understand why we're following like, non-league like amateur football. That's where it's come from. I think it's like stupid. I don't think the game it makes the game exciting enough in, in the latter stages of the game. So. I think it's something that and we were looking at the stats of it actually. Every team that was leading in the 80th minute last week made at least four subs after that time. So individually. So it's uh, it's something that we need to we need to get changed. We need to follow the EFL, we need to follow up, not follow down. You know, we're all striding to go there. So um, I think it's something that's got, got to be changed. I was talking to the people at Gateshead about it as well before the game, they agree as well. So um, I was talking to a lot of managers about it. It's something that I think we should get changed. And it was said at the manager's meeting as well, but sometimes I don't think they listen to us because they go on about owners and all this kind of stuff. We're the people that lose our jobs over these kind of things, not the owners. Yeah, absolutely. And then obviously just touching base on Tuesday again, altering them elite points. They've had quite an unpredictable start to the season. Obviously, they've, you know, they've lost at Sutton quite heavily and then obviously today they won again, I think. So how would you sort of analyse them as opposition when obviously they've had an unpredictable yeah. start? I'll be honest, they sold Con Clark, who was a huge player for them. I know they've brought in good players, because a few of the players they, they signed, I tried to sign. So like, they're a good side. Parky knows the level just like I do. He knows it in, inside out, so it'll be a really tough game on a Tuesday night. And another, and England are playing at home on a Tuesday night. What? And the National League put a game in. Oh, that's crazy, huh? You know, so it is what it is. <laughs> it's madness. Um, so look, it, 
tough game. No easy games in the division. Like people might think I say that all the time, but it's the truth. Just like it was tough. Yeah, the main thing for me is well, we just got to keep sticking together as a group. Keep sticking together. Our support is amazing today. Kept getting behind us. Kept driving us forward. And I don't think the players could give any more. You know, I think we still be here right now. Probably half an hour after the game, and we probably still wouldn't score. So it's just been one of them days. But it's happened to us on several occasions now. So I know how to fix it. It's an easy fix. Um, so let's see, can I fix it? Thank you, Tandy. Cheers.